Hi, girl. This is a real squirrel here. <laughs> As a young Inupiat boy growing up in Kotzebue, Chuck Schaefer has dished out plenty of dog food. Tried to hide from all my chores, and I'm the only one in the family that became a dog muster. Other ones are smarter than me, I guess. <laughs> he remembers his dad leaving for hunting trips by dog team in the days before snow machines. Sometimes he was gone for weeks, but the dogs always brought him home. He would come back in these hellacious storms, you know, blizzards. Dog mushing continued to be an important part of Chuck's life. He ran the Iditarod in 1985 and again in 1990, but he never reached the finish line. And so before I get too old, I want to do this thing. Chuck is now 60, and a quarter century after his last attempt, he's going for it again, getting his team ready for the thousand mile race. I guess now it's getting the gnome. You know, after having it done twice a couple of times and not getting there, I, I just enjoy being out in different places. I've done this all my life, so it's just enjoyable to do this, you know what I mean? Even just driving eight of these guys today, you know? And so much of that enjoyment comes from keeping his culture alive. Traveling across Alaska on dog power. John Thane, KTVA 11 Sports.